Hallelujah. Please go straight to the point. All right. Uh, I want, I have come to thank God for what he has done for me so far. Um, last year, I have been, I had a very serious financial crisis. So, it was a very terrible one that, in the process, I owed a lot of people. They were on my neck. So, I joined this commission last year convention. I, through a brother. So through there, I, I became, I began to, you know, so reaching this, uh, this year, it was too much. I could not take it. The, that is, he was in a financial distress, indebted here and there, things are not moving, and so what happened today? So yesterday, I was here. So daddy was preaching about being in pressure and uh, sleepless night and uh, restlessness and that was that message was for me because i go to my house i can't sleep i lie down i could not sleep. i work i'm i work all through the night till morning i don't sleep so on monday the people i was owing was calling me helter skelter even uh, one of them seized my car and said, uh, until I return his money is when I... I said, okay, if that would be your problem. Oh, yeah, hold on now. So, my, the other one said, uh, he is giving me for now to you today. That if I should not bring that money, he is going to show me the stuff he's made of. So, this morning, as daddy was preaching, he was saying something about... He was praying, he was, when we are praying, he said, Let, let's pray over the devil to vomit whatever he has swallowed. I was praying that prayer with rugidity. I was telling the devil, if you don't vomit it, you, it is the end of you. So, so, hallelujah. The violent takes it by force. So, after the prayer and after the anointing, and I went back home. I came into my house yet. I went back home to sleep for this tonight's prayer. So I came back to my house, I cannot sleep again. I just wear, wear back my clothes and returned back to one of my friend's shop. I was there. A call came to me. I picked up the call, it was my, my boy. The boy was staying, he was staying with me. So he said that somebody is looking for me at the shop. I became scared again. You see, not this people. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what to do. I was asking you, who are they? Who will be that person? Now, the same person. He goes, uh, no, na customer. He goes, are you sure? You sure? He said, yes. I rushed out. But before I rushed out, I was like, I was, I was, I don't know. So, but getting there, the man has already left. So now, he, he, he now says that he dropped his card and said I should call him immediately. He had a complimentary card. So now I picked up the, this and called him. So he said, I told him, I tried to explain myself. And he said, okay. That I should, can I, that he's in a meeting now, that later in the evening, I told him that I cannot be, I cannot be around in the evening, I'm going to this uh, VG. So he said, he said, okay, no problem. Uh, what will happen tomorrow, that I should come and meet him in his house, that he has a hotel, a hotel in Port Accord, that I, I will, I, he has not seen me, but he wants me to cross down there and measure the whole thing. Is a is a massive supply, a very massive one. He runs in plenty zeros. I have, I don't want to take it for granted. I say I'm coming back this night. I'm gonna have that. I am coming back to tell the devil, you are a pastor. Hallelujah. You are a bastard. I cannot get connected with this commission and the suffering. It's not possible. <laughs> so you say you come here tonight. I want to hear that vernacular again. Huh? I've come here this night to testify and yeah. tell God for what he has done for me. I don't want to take it for granted. And that is why I returned. I was, I, there was a lot of battle there, people. I said, oh, I'm... I am here already. 
<laughs> so what please tell me about the prayer again the prayer of the vomit the something that was praying and was saying that whatever the enemies have swallowed in the years that is going to vomit it i was praying it because it was my prayer this man has spoken a lot for me so you told the devil what do you tell the devil you are a bastard I am going to recover. Oh! Otherwise, nah. Nah. otherwise you go. I am ready for you. <laughs> so the man said you should measure how much. He said that he has not seen me. That is the most surprising thing. That's the most funny thing. He has not seen me. But just one sample for my son that he wants me to supply. The whole no! of the units. They took my because of that thing. My car, my landed property, they took it all. My own. Hey! Everything the devil took belonging to you today they have vomited it. Amen. God showed us that serpent, that crocodile in the daytime that vomited what they took. Everywhere they are still holding what is yours. I announce they have vomited it already. Amen. This testimony you have given is sealed with the blood of Jesus. Amen. The job is completed. Amen. The many zeros is confirmed. Amen. And more many zeros from other sources. Amen. Somebody shout power. Power. Let me walk to seven people and tell them God is about to change your story. Now, you, you will help me sh shake the hands of seven other people. Tell them God is about to change the whole of your life. The whole. I didn't know you will life. honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. You will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. You will honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. I didn't know you will honor me this way. You will honor me this way. form of financial pressure or whatever has put your life under pressure when they were calling him for the business he thought it was the people he was owing so are you sure who are the people who are the people do you know who they are he said they arrested his boy on monday arrested him on monday 
my friends has to go and pick him out because they know if I have that money, I will pay it. But I don't it's, have it. It's over. It is released. You have all. I prophesy upon you. The pressure on your life is over. Hey. The pressure on your family is over. Hey, the pressure on your destiny is over. Hey, Help me shake the hands of seven people again and tell them that pressure is over. God bless you.